Hello and welcome, my name is Lily and today I wanted to talk about two manual label printers and those are Dymo, Organizer Express and Motex. Both of these label uh, makers I'm using for my memory keeping in general, for journaling, for planning, for photo books that I'm making um, and for labeling stuff around the house. They both take the same kind of uh, tape and it is 3 8 wide tape. Uh, this tape has really good adhesive, it comes in different colors. And let me just show you colors that I have. And then there's a clear one as well. And both are made of plastic. Dymo is a little bigger and I'm going to start with Dymo. So um, it has like a big wheel um, and all the characters on it, all the numbers, all the letters, and then some um, more characters. It has a little um, space sign where uh, you can use it for making the space between characters. Also the scissors um, where you, you use it to cut the label once you're done printing. So how you use it is you open the little door, you take the tape, I put the tape like this inside, and then there's a little arrow, let me just see if you can see it here, where you put the tape in, and I hold it with my finger, um, I put the little um, space sign here, and then I press on the trigger um, until the tape fits in. To the machine and I see it on this side. Um, I close the door then and it's ready to print. So you just choose the character by turning the wheel um, either way and you press firmly on the trigger. So the size of this um, label maker is really nice. Uh, it's not too big, it's not too small, it's really uh, easy to hold when you're printing um, and it's in general it's, it's not a bad um, label maker. The other one uh, that I want to talk about is Motex and let me just show you how I put the tape in. So um, and before that so this one it it's also comes with the wheel that you can turn either way and you have all the characters on it except that Motex doesn't come with um, many characters like um, Dymo does. Um, it's missing for example number one so you have to use I and also missing zero, so you have to use O. Um, it doesn't have the space sign, so you can't make the space like um, on the Dymo between characters. But what you do, so I'm gonna just show you how first to put the tape in. So you put the tape in, you hold it like this, and then you press gently on the trigger so um, that the tape moves in and once you see the tape on this side it's good to go there's also um, space where you can just attach the um, tape roll holder here and this is ready to go um, so it is smaller it the trigger is also smaller compared to Dymo and it does sit a little awkwardly in your hand while you're printing but it's still like really good uh, label maker. So I'm going to just quickly show you how um, two labels are looking that I made before filming this. So um, the first one is uh, okay. So the first one is Dymo, and um, as you can see, it's not um, as clear as the Motex one and also it has more space between letters. So in general I prefer how the Motex label look like. Um, and that's the first reason why I prefer Motex over Dymo. The second one is even though um, before purchasing this I read really good reviews on Dymo um, this is the second one that I had to buy. So uh, actually I bought first one and, and, and I was having problems with it. It wasn't pr printing right. And uh, so I decided to exchange it because I thought that I, I didn't have luck with it. But unfortunately I have problems with this one as well. So I researched online and I found that it is very important to um, find these two, um, four, sorry, um, triangles um, on the wheel and the bottom, the bottom and the top one, they have to align. If they're not aligned, then the printer will not print good. 
But unfortunately, even with the second one, I'm still having problems. I keep these um, uh, triangles aligned at all times, but it's still sometimes um, it's causing problems. So even when making this label, hello, it took me two times. Also, uh, before filming this, I tried to uh, print September and then you see the top one is Dymo and the bottom one is Multex. So um, what I'm trying to say is that Motex uh, is smaller. Maybe it you will be bothered by, by the small trigger, but it is compact. It is easy to put like in the pencil case and just take it whenever, wherever you go. Um, it's um, it easy. It is easy to use um, the same as Dymo, but it is more consistent and also there's a price point um, for the Motex I paid um, around eight dollars plus four dollars shipping which is twelve dollars in total and then for Dymo I paid around twenty dollars uh, I see now the Dymo is um, on sale for around fifteen dollars like between fourteen and fifteen dollars so um, I don't know the price is maybe uh, another thing to consider um, as I say like maybe I just didn't have luck with the Dymo. Um, I will put uh, both links down below for you to check both of them out. Um, please, um, if you like this video, consider liking it, um, giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. And um, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.